hello guys you are welcome back to this channel today i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a lap coat in a very simple way in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to cut it and sew it in this particular video that you're watching right now so i want you to stay tuned to watch this tutorial in details thank you for joining this channel if you today is the first time of joining this channel you are welcome and if you are a return subscriber thank you for joining this channel but god bless you so i'm going to be showing you how i cut and sew it from beginning to the end so i want you to sit back and watch this tutorial in details so the length we are working with in today's tutorial is the length of 36 and the bust measurement of 36 as well and the hip measurement of 36 with the shoulder measurement of 15 and the sleeve length of 10. so i want you to stay back and watch this tutorial in details so the fabric use is a i don't know the name of this fabric anyway i don't know the name of the fabric and this is the fabric i use anyway this is it on the table right now this one that you are washing right now is the back bodies and we said we are working with the length of 30 i already changed the mind i'm going to be using 35 anyway i'm going to be using 35 for the length i'll be using 35 for the length yes I'll be using 35 for the length, length of 35. Then I'll add 3 inches to the length measurement. That 3 inches is for folding at the down part plus the joining in the shoulder. That's why I added 3 inches to the length measurement. Now, since it's a lap coat, you are not going to make it fitted anyway. You can't make it fitted. So since we said the person bust measurement is 36, by the time you finish sewing it at least, you should have 38 or 39 ready i hope you are getting to at least 1.5 inches on foot that will be three inches or two inches for to add to it you understand this is not a fitted down so we i already cut the back bodies this is the back bodies now let's cut the front body as well and join it together let's cut the front this is the front we want to cut the front out before we do our normal measurements like shoulder waist and stuff so for the front body to bring out the front body i will be adding four inches extra to the front body on food please don't forget it's going to be on fold so i'll add four inches extra i'm just trying to get my four inches that's why i'm not cutting it out yet i think it's okay now i think it's enough now so let's cut it out So this is it after cutting the front and the back bodies together this is it after bringing it out so now we have our fabric out now we have the back this is the back and we have the front as well the two fabric unfold so the next thing we are going to cut now is to cut our to shock out now is our shoulder measurement and we said the person shoulder is 15 15 divided by 2 will give us 7.5. 7.5 plus our half inch sewing allowance. 
yes 7.5 plus half inch sewing allowance that makes it eight i want to take that shoulder measurement again because i feel like yeah this is it right here right now yeah this is my eight then i'm going to repeat the same thing here as well i'm going to repeat the same thing that's my chest line eight inches and i'll measure the same thing here as well so the next thing i'm going to do now is to rule it out let me root this out i hope you are getting it if there is anything you don't understand in this tutorial you are free to comment in the comment section and i will answer you before i proceed i'm going to divide the arm more measurements by two that will give us four eight divided by two we give us four it divided by two will give us four this is our four then i'll manage i'll measure half of an inch here half of an inch can you see that so that's where the arm hole is going to like just let me show you if you don't have arm hole cuff there's no problem that does not cause for alarm you can use your free hand to do this i hope you are getting it so that is that about that about the arm hole stuff now let's move to the waist measurements now the this person bust measurement waist and hip is almost the same thing so plus two inch swing. so i'm just going to like cut it straight down you don't need to do any shape or any stuff like that so i'm just going to like well if the person shape is not is not this just use the biggest number if the person hip is the biggest number just use the person hip measurements to bring out your measurements i hope you get that that is that so now to the neckline now for this neckline i'll be using two and a half and quarter for the wideness and for the depth i'm using for the back hole this is back two and a half and quarter by one inches for the back two and a half and quarter by one inches that is for the back then let me move to my shoulder slant i'll be using half inch and quarter for the shoulder slant i already showed that this is it now this is where the work is which is the neckline the front neckline so i want you to pay very close attention to this place we said we use four for the we added four to the front neckline we added four to the front body we added four inches on fold to the front body you can use three you can use 2.5 depending on how much you want the lapel to open you understand depending on how you want it now for the neckline I'll, I'll be using three inches no i'll be using three inches for the neckline i'll be using three inches yes i'll be using two and a half and quarter by three inches for the front neckline two and a half and quarter by three inches that is what i'll be using for the front neckline i'm just trying to cut the shoulder of this out the ammo let's cut that out so that So I just cut that out now. I just cut the neckline. I cut two and a half. I just cut two and a half. 
two and a half and quarter by three inches. Now, let me piece the front into two before we move ahead to the shaping of the front. This is very, very simple and it's very easy to make as well. So now, depending on your choice, how you want the lapel to look like. You want it as small as some can do it. But this one, I want it like the way it is. That is how I want it. So here, this I'm going to be using 3 inches for this place. So I just want to notch here and measure 3 inches from this edge to that place. I just measure it 3 inches you can use 2.5 you can use 2 depending on your choice you understand it does not have any standard measurement like maybe it's 1 is 2 no you can use anything you desire then from here let me tell you what to do then from here I'm going to measure 11 from the shoulder not from that place from the shoulder I'm going to measure 11 yes you can decide to use 10 you can decide to use nine you can use eight you can use six you understand that you can use more than 11 you can use 12 you can use 13 you understand but as for me i decide to use 11 for this if what you are showing is similar to what i did then you are free to use 11 you understand so after doing your 11 i now measure two i measure two inches from that edges so i'm going to like the two inches that i mark that is where this one just rule it out to that two inches then i'm going to rule it till down yes i'm going to rule it till down I thought I I believe you are getting it, sir. This place I measure eleven. Let me measure it again for you to see. Perhaps I'm sure maybe you don't. Uh -huh. I measure eleven. This is where I stop my eleven. Then after measuring that eleven, then I I just I measure two here. Let me measure that place for you. Okay, I use one, no, not two. Sorry for that. I measure one here. So, from that one, then I just rule it still down. Just for the shaping of, the shaping that I want to use. Then the next thing I did, I'll just like cut it out. I don't need this one. Let me just cut this out. So, that is that. Can you see that? This is what I have. So, after cutting it like this, let's remove the back. Now, we have our front. After cutting it like this, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to cut facing for the front. If you have enough fabric, you can decide to cut the facing, full facing. If you have enough fabric, you can decide to cut full facing. That means the front will be double. But normally, the facing does not supposed to reach the armhole side. So we are going to cut out the facing right now. Let's cut the facing for this front and see how it goes but before that let me show you this the collar we are going to be cutting the collar for the for our lab coats we will need collar so this is the material I'm, i want to use for the collar so let me just put that aside and also our pockets i already cut eight by eight for the pocket i cut eight by eight for the pocket so here is the interfacing that we're going to cut i'm going to cut the same fabric for the interfacing because since it's going to show the the one we are going to put at the back side is going to show in the front so let's cut it out now can you see where i stop the i stop it at the beginning of the shoulder the shoulder side that's where i stop the fabric so first thing let's cut the neckline It's very very simple to make this is a very simple lab coat 
that you can make on your own even if you are not a designer you can make this on your own so that is the lining let's let me pieces the lining to two because the front two is pieces yeah can you see that so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the sleeve we are going to cut the sleeve let's cut out the sleeve together now so we want to sew the front now can you see i just placed the front the interfacing and the main fabric together just see the way i'm going to do it just watch the way i'm going to do it i'm going to sew it from this edge to that place that we notched earlier do you remember where we notched in the on the neckline earlier so that's where I'm going to stop. So make sure that you reverse that place. Yeah. So after doing that, I want to I want to shock it for you to see. Yes. So this is where I stop. Now let's do this place. So we are going to sew this place straight down. We 
you're going to sew it straight down just sew it straight down you can sew it with half an inch half of an inch yes that's not much just sew it straight down as shown So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to notch this side so make sure be very careful when you are notching it so that it will not pass where you sew it so after notching it then we are going to turn it let's turn it use anything to do it like this just turn it after turning it you know we already notched that place uh -huh. see the way i do it too can you see that after doing it like that the next thing we are stitch that side yes you are going to stitch here together the remaining part that we didn't stitch on the neckline so, so we are going to you're going to stitch it as shown can you see you don't need to stitch the shoulder just leave the shoulder like that this is what we have this is what you're going to have after stitching it like i said this is the back this is the back view this is the this is how the back will look like and that is the front as well so after doing it like this take it for ironing and iron it so the same thing we did for this one you are going to repeat it for the second one as well just the way you do this one you are going to repeat it for the second one as well you are going to repeat it here as well so we are done ironing it can you see this is it after ironing it this is what we have this is what we have after ironing it and this is the back bodies that we cut earlier when we cut it so the next thing we are going to do now is to join the shoulder of the front and back together and we know that the front is two piece right why the back is one piece so we are going to join the shoulder after sewing everything we are going to weave all the inside of the fabric Make sure that you weave the inside so that it will know so that your work will be very neat so i want to join the show i'm going to join the shoulder right now after joining the shoulder then we will now move to the next step this is the next thing to do we will now move to that so here is it here is the shoulder that we just joined so we are going to join the second shoulder as well we are going to join the second one as well but before that so i already joined the second shoulder as well this is it this is the two piece uh, we already joined the two shoulder and the next thing we are going to do now is to do our wet pocket at the left side wet pocket is always at the left side in case you don't know so if you want to do your wet pocket measure from your shoulder you can use 7.5 or 8 for your wet pocket but if it's a baby girl of five years six years you can just use six inches for your wet pocket you understand but this is an adult so I'm going to be using eight for this waist pocket so i just measure eight from the shoulder then from this from the middle of this place i'm going to be using four inches yes i'll be using four inches this is my four inches right here right now then for the 
pocket mount i'll be using four inches as well for the pocket mount i'll be using four inches as well so let me take ruler and rule it together can you see from the shoulder i use eight inches from this place i measure four inches then for the pocket mount i measure four inches as well I measure four inches as well so i'm going to take ruler and rule it now so for the wet pocket i just cut this one so for this one i need half inch and quarter so i'm going to press my machine on it now i'm going to sew what i need and cut the remaining part away i need half inch and quarter for this half inch and quarter by five i need just five yes this is correct now half inch and quarter then by five i'm going to cut the extra i need by five by five inches okay so let me cut this extra away so So the next thing i'm going to do now is to rule it out you know i said it that time that i need to rule this place i just need to rule the four inches that i want to use yes so i will rule four inches by half inch and quarter i want to use half inch and quarter four inch by half inch and quarter that is what i want to use for the mouth of the pocket so i'm going to rule it out as well Then the next thing we are going to do now is to fix our pocket now. And we will need this one that we put stay on it. We will need it. And at the same time, we will need this piece as well. So this piece I cut five, 6 by 10. That is what I cut for the long, long one. I cut 6 by 10. Then this one I cut half inch and quarter by five inches. So this one that I cut six by ten, you are going to place it like this. Can you see? I place it at the upper part. This one you are going to place it at the upper part. This wet pocket you can sew it in different ways. If you don't know how to make this, you can check my videos. I have videos on how to sew wet pockets step by step is on my channel how to sew it very neat is on my channel different ways i have two ways that you can sew it so it's depend on your choice which way you prefer you understand so make sure that you reverse and make sure that it doesn't pass the line so that is for that one so the second one as well you are going to place it and when you are placing before you place it make sure that you measure it measure the space in between if the space space pass what you need then there will be problem you understand now there's a little bit of problem here because the space is a little bit because of the of the pen that i used to mark this red paper the pen i used to mark the fabric If I place it exactly where I mark, it will not be enough. The space will be shorter. So I have to like place it 
and make sure that you reverse so so that your pockets will not be losing then the next thing you're going to do you're going to cut the middle part can you see after cutting then you are going to cut it watch the way i'm going to cut it too you have to be very careful because this kind of pocket some more needs to be very careful otherwise it will spoil the fabric it must not exceed that place yes can you see that so after cutting it like this pull the clothes inside yes pull it inside pull it inside pull this as well inside can you see can you see what we have here so the next thing we are going to do now is to stitch the side we are going to stitch the side in you are going to stitch the you are going to stitch the side in as soon make sure that you arrange it before you sew it arrange it and make sure that it lays very well sure you understand before you sew it So just stitch it. Make sure that when you are stitching it, you don't stitch it past that place in here. Can you see the way I'm sewing it? Just stop right there. Let me open it for you. Can you see? So you are going to repeat the same thing that you did there earlier. You are going to repeat that same thing here as well. So we are almost done with the pocket. We are almost done with the pocket. Hmm. Repeat the same thing. And this is it. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't leave very well. I need to open it and do it very well. So the next thing you are going to do is to measure the neckline. I'm going to measure the neckline so that you will know what next to do. So this is the neckline I'm measuring right here right now. So everything is 15 and a half and quarter. 15 and a half and quarter. That is what I have. 15 and a half and quarter. So I will now go and cut it out now. The pieces we talked about earlier. This is it. And we said we need 15 and a half and quarter. By I cut it by five. Yes. This is by five. So we say we need 15 and a half and quarter. So see the way I folded it. I fold it like this, then I'll fold it again like this. Just to take out my measurements. I fold it like this. We need 15 and a half and quarter. How do you calculate it with the stitching and everything? Wash this place carefully. He said we need 15 and a half and quarter, right? So I'm going to add good half inch and quarter to this. Half inch and quarter. So we said we need 15 and a half and quarter. So I cut out 16 and quarter. Can you see then you cut it out like that after cutting it out i'll, I'll give it to them to go and stay it for me so they are, they are going to put stay on this 
so let's go and put it in and i'll get back to you on that now let's move to our pocket our front pocket we are done already with our wet pocket now let's move to the pocket in the front so I, I, i'm going to leave two inches from here and five inches from down i'll leave two inches from the front then i'm going to leave five good inches from the down part i'll leave five inches from the down part but before i proceed i would like to take this my pocket for weaving let's go and weave it and get, come back before we weave it finish let's join the body because of time let's join the body together so this is the body let's join it like i said we are going to join it with just half of an inch let's join it I told you I'm going to double stitch it. It's very fine when you double stitch it. It always looks very beautiful. So this is the second time I'm sewing it. I'm almost done with that. So I'm done with that now. So the next thing we are going to do now is to fix our pocket. I already weaved the pocket. I already weaved it. This is it after weaving it. Can you see? Then we are going to sew it all through. And I said we use 8 by 8. But before we... Before we proceed let's fold the upper part of the pocket i'm going to be sewing this as well i'm going to be sewing it double because the double is giving me joy like it's cool so after doing it like this then we will now fix it on our fabric can you see this is it so let's fix it on the fabric so like i said i leave two inches from the front then i leave five inches from the down parts i leave five inches before i start to fix it let's fix it together
Can you see? So that's how we are going to join it. Stitch it down. We are almost done with our design. We are almost done. Very, very, almost done. Like. So that is that is that. So you are going to repeat the same thing for the second pocket as well. And you are good to go. We are going to repeat the same thing for this one as well. So the next thing I'm doing now is to fix my sleeve. I want to fix the sleeve now. So I started from the middle parts. Then stitch it all around my ham wool. And that is it. Then for the sleeve band, I use 13, 12.5. Now, back to this place now. This is the color already. This is the color that they helped me to stay. So I just took one edge. You can take any edge. Any edge from the two edge. And just stitch it straight down. Can you see the way I'm, stitch, I'm sewing it? Just stitch one edge like this. So after stitching it, this is what you're going to have. Then stitch this as well. Can you see? After stitching it, you're going to remove it. You're going to like turn it. Yes. Turn it. Use something to push it out. Do the same thing for the second one as well. Turn it. After turning it, this is what you are going to have. Can you see? This is what you are going to have. One edge food, one edge not food. And one edge must be bigger than the other. Can you see what I have here? This place is a little bit just like stick, too stick like this. Uh -huh. Can you see? We fold one edge, we, you will not fold the second edge. After doing that, after having your collar ready like this. Then pick your fabric. You're going to sew it to the good side, so not to the bad side. This is the good. This is the good side. Place this place right here. Can you see? Place this right here like this. Now, do you know what? Don't stitch straight like that. Take your pin and first pin the collar with your main body. First pin it like this yes first pin it like this after pinning it after pinning it like this then you can now stitch it hope you are getting it so pin it like this after pinning it then you can now stitch it now we are done spinning it then now you can now start sewing it one after the other if after pinning it if it's correct then you can start sewing it if it's not correct you can quickly make adjustments instead of you to sew it open it sew it open it i hope you understand so if today is the first time of watching my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i posted a video subscription button is at the down part of this video you are watching right now just check the down part of your video it's free subscription is free just check the down part you will see it's there click on it it will write subscribe immediately you subscribe it will write subscribed after it writes subscribe you will see one bell like this yes you will see this bell beside the subscription button click on this bell Anytime I post any new video, any new video, they will notify you that Nifi Clothing has posted a new video. Then you can watch the video or download it and watch it later. Thanks for doing that. God bless you. So can you see? So that's how you are going to stitch it up to this edge. When you get here, make sure that you reverse. It's very, very important. 
so that it will not open later yes so after doing it like that this is what you're going to have this is what you're going to have then watch this place carefully place this one right like this place it can you see place it in like this you can stitch it or you can do you can aim this place when you aim it it will be very very neat if you know how to aim very well if you know how to do neat aiming it will be very very neat nobody will know how you finish it very clean but at the same time you can just stop stitch it like i did here in this video you can decide to sew it as well i'll show you the back side after some minutes now i'll show you how the back how the front side looks like yes this is it let me show you this is how it looks like can you see this is the it. this is how it's going to look like after sewing it when i'm done stitching all this i'm going to when i'm done ironing it i'll take it for weaving i'm going to weave all the inside of this clothes and we are going to weave it so this is how you are going to join your collar can you see isn't it easy it's very very easy if you follow the procedure one after the other let's assume you want to make it for a baby girl of one year or two years old just instead of you using 11 for the coming down of the collar you can just use three four or five for coming down depending on how much you want the lapel to come down i hope you are getting it thank you so much for joining this channel so this is how you're going to sew it one after the other can you see this is what we have right here right now this is what we have we are almost done so this is it this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is to take it for ironing let's take it for ironing and iron it very well press your iron on it after ironing you can decide to weave it before ironing it you can decide to iron it and weave it you can decide to even weave it before you start sewing it depending on your choice it's a choice you understand so this is it after ironing it after ironing it i'm going to test it and we are going to see how it looks thanks so much for watching my channel god bless you And this is it after sewing everything together this is what we have can you see that it's very very easy to make very very easy so thank you so much for joining this channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please don't forget to leave a comment at the comment section of what you notice if there's anything you don't understand in the video feel free to comment and i promise to answer you sincerely thanks for watching bye